it's so good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Liz. Yeah, so tell me, uh, are you the director or what's your position? Yeah, I'm the CEO the... of Above the Stigma. You are? I am so impressed with your organization. How long uh, have you been around? Um, I think we're going on 10 or 11 months now. Wow. So, yeah, we're, we, you know, we were able to reach a lot of people during, you know, our times and mm -hmm. when people needed a place to find their voice, you know, the only place to really find it right now has been virtual. Yeah. So, you know, so we really had to really adjust with like, hey, like, okay, how do you run an organization and then just keeping it virtual like how do we keep finding solutions so mm -hmm. it's been it's been an amazing ride so far well that's so exciting so tell me who started this organization was it you it was it was me i i like kind of i've started the organization at a moment of kind of needing my own help that's the way like, it works I, isn't it I, I, I need, <laughs> yeah. Like, I just felt like there wasn't really anything for me. There wasn't any, a, like, a safe space for me to go to. And that was kind of the hard part of, mm -hmm. you know, especially coming from a male's perspective. I was in the military. Um, and so, like, I was just, I was kind of just caught in this, like, very toxic masculinity kind mm -hmm. of viewpoint on my own mental health, which was, you know, causing me so much pain um oh. you know 2019 was one of the like roughest years i've ever been through in my life and then wow. you know just like how everyone else was like okay 2020 is gonna be my year <laughs> yeah little comes, did they know <laughs> here comes a, a really big uh reality check and mm -hmm. then life hit and it hit hard and so that's kind of when I started the well, originally we were supposed to be a vlog, and I kind of just was sharing my story, and I just recorded talking about um, a trigger warning too. Like I, I won't get too into it, but more of uh, talking about like sexual abuse when I was younger, and then uh, um, sexual assault uh, when I was military. Uh, oh I'm a survivor. Like life, life just wasn't always rainbow and butterflies, but. No. Oh. Everything happens for a reason. It does. I mean, we're all, you know, we just, we all have our journeys and, yep. you know, it's either do we suffer or do we learn to serve through yep. our suffering. And so that's why I've started Art for Your Cause because I, like you, had yeah. some issues with being an artist and working with nonprofits and trying to get yep. my art out there. And so I thought, well, okay. And isn't it interesting when we sign up for these things, all the miracles that happen? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like it's a miracle it. you and I are talking. <laughs> and I think that it's, it is literally my favorite thing about it is, mm -hmm. you know, I actually just made a video about it uh, yesterday, but it was like talking about just, you know, at a point of being so low, the thing that really changed it was like COVID. COVID changed everything and we were able to build a community out of nothing. And mm -hmm. now like, it's just like the world's best support system you could ever have. And I love it. That is so beautiful. Wow. Well, tell me a little bit more about your organization and what kind of programs you have available and how it works and how people can find out about you. Yeah, so it's national, uh, right? It's a national organization. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And so it's available for everybody. <clears throat> and so right now we offer uh, virtual uh, meetings, workshops, um, open discussions. So really giving everybody an opportunity virtually because right now we are very out of touch with everybody because we're still in this pandemic but right um, we're trying to find solutions there um, we're in the process of um, getting the proper funding to be able to offer the community free therapy um, so that's that's you know that's that's a huge task for us mm -hmm. and it's be easy but that's our mission right now yeah. and 
We're also building a mental health curriculum for students K through 12. Um, we're looking to launch that in Colorado, hopefully by fall, latest spring of next year. Mm -hmm. um, we just, we, there's so many areas where mental health needs to be improved, but I think that realistically there are so many post care programs where it's like, okay, after trauma or after a bad day, you know, go to therapy or like, here's a recovery center or like they have all these things like, oh, meetings, meetings, meetings. It's like, okay. What if we knew that it was okay to talk about it in the very beginning? Like how, how, like how much mm -hmm. be able to change if we just knew that it's okay to not be okay? It's, it's, that is so true. I mean, we are all human. We're all like brothers and sisters on this planet. And I too have struggled with mental issues most of my life. I was labeled crazy. I'm a, I'm a survivor, trauma survivor and all kinds of surviving from everything, <laughs> even from myself. But yeah, I mean, because the mental health, when I was growing up, we, there was mental health services available. It was yeah. just trying to find them and maneuver through them. And then when Reagan came along, all of that was just gutted. Yep. And so it's been a long haul back, but I'm very grateful because I had some help along the way. If I didn't, I wouldn't be here. And a lot of us wouldn't be. Yep. And that a hundred percent, like my, the team that we brought together, like all of my board of directors, it's literally just been like, we run the organization, like we're a family and that's, Oh, that's and, beautiful. And, that's going to be our culture and that's what the organization is is mm -hmm. no matter where you are no matter what time no matter what you need we're going to be here for you and if we don't have it we're going to help you find it that's beautiful i love what you're doing and i'd love to be a part of it and i'm glad we are i'm glad we connected and i'm glad we are initially getting started and yeah. working together yeah no i think you know when nick brought up because she's are they're so amazing so creative so artistic mm -hmm. and when they brought up that they wanted to submit the artwork mm -hmm. you know I, I was honored because wow. you know it's just like another way it's like man like mm -hmm. here I had no idea I would have been here and now wow. we're just we're impacting so many different lives and in so many different ways where it's not just like hey like just talking about mental health, it's like express, like finding different ways to express ourselves too. Right. And art has been such a huge one for like a big part of our community. And it, I'm very excited for what the future has for you and I. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that's, <clears throat> that's really what really is super exciting about this. Cause mm -hmm. you know, I do, I do know the importance of art. I do know mm -hmm. that so that is a huge way that people do express themselves mm -hmm. and i'm not the most artistic person but i do but I you're do create we're all creative and you were creative enough and believed in in some part of yourself some part of your story to share it and look what happened yeah so <clears throat> yeah i think like you said this is just the beginning for mm -hmm. us yeah i think there's a lot of there's a lot of things that we're going to be able to really make it make a difference with and just continue to improve the world little by little. Yeah, and that's that's really exciting to me. You're speaking to my you're speaking to my family. <clears throat> yeah. Mm hmm. Oh yeah. Well, I, I mean, this at this point, you know, we're all family. This exactly. This is with the family that brought us together, and mm -hmm. you know, I think. I think it's truly amazing when you really do make yourself, you put yourself out there and make yourself a little bit uncomfortable mm -hmm. because the outcome can really surprise you. So can you tell me how, do you see using art in any, have you done any art therapy or? Currently are offering um, a creative, uh, a creative restoration class. And I think that is bi-weekly right now. Um, that's actually led by Nick and Oh, that's, um, she didn't tell me about that. Yeah. Yeah. They're, she's so, she's so, um, 
humble, but she she needs to be tooting her horn. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're amazing, and like even taking that time to really uh, like they're they're working right now to try to help us build a new logo because we're trying to give us a new look too. Mm-hmm. We're working on the website, everything, and, and um, yeah. Uh, so we definitely are having um, classes right now already for art, but it's, you know, if we're very open to the idea of more because mm-hmm. the, just the need for it, the need yeah. for it, people are going to be finding different creative ways, mm-hmm. especially aren't leaving your house. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, well, what have you? binge watched every show or every movie already yeah. okay it's, it's like okay let's start doing things that are going to be more interactive what whatever helps and therapeutic uh, yeah even if it's just that night, like just stepping outside of your comfort zone and it's really fun you know listening to music uh we i think the last time we did like a little dance little mm-hmm. part at the end of it and it's just having fun having fun in whatever way comes natural to us. I like that. Um, I've been taking some, are you familiar with the harmonium? Mm. Harmonium is a piano. It's a keyboard that you, it has a bath, a wind baffle. So you, you, you play it with the right hand, you play the keys with the right hand, but you, you pump air into it. It's like an accordion, but it's from India. Okay. And it's a beautiful, and so I've been taking these bhakti, it's called bhakti yoga, which is devotional singing. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I'm thinking about doing some events. We just started a nonprofit called Causability. And Causability Mm -hmm. is going to be a fundraising site for organizations like you. And we're gonna have events to raise money. So I'd okay. love, I'd love for, to participate, you know, to get us all together and I'd love it. And then, um, you know, we can get definitely some things ironed out and start mm-hmm. actually getting the logistics of it. And then yeah. I could bring in, you know, a couple of the board members too, where we can kind of brain brainstorm and that would you know, be wonderful. Yeah, I'm on board. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good to me too. Anything you ever need as well, you know, that's, or that's literally in any and every way you need help or, Aww. you know, even if it's not from me, if I know somebody that could help, I'm going to be sending Same your- here. That's back at you now. Perfect. Perfect. Anytime, day or night. So are you getting grants right now or are they public donate, private do- uh, donations or is it board supported or how are you, uh, it's been kind of just me. Really? Me fun. And, you know, we're getting donations here and there, um, which, you know, definitely greatly appreciated. And, you know, even this $500, like, really does make a huge difference where mm-hmm. you know, this is what we're working. But we actually are in the process this week of hiring um, two different grant teams um, that are going to be, one's going to be assisting with the education um, programs and then the others are going to be helping with the general mental health. So we've been kind of like, you know, we see the end of, you know, lockdown coming soon, mm-hmm. you know, COVID is not going to go anywhere anytime soon, mm-hmm. but things will be opening up, which mm-hmm. means physical locations and physical events mm-hmm. are going to be a possibility, which, you know, for those that aren't introverted or those mm-hmm. that want to have human interaction, right. we able to offer that solution as well so they're going to be really helping us out with both of it so this is it's there's a lot of change that's going to be happening in the next year Mm -hmm. because the first year is what happens when you have us tied down to just virtual exactly (laughs) yeah and that's the thing how are people you know i was thinking about this last week i thought what could we do to help people to learn how to cope or what are the next steps for coming out of this lockdown it's it's i think realistically it's going to be building a realistic expectation of what's Mm going to be real like Mm -hmm. what's like i was Mm -hmm. uh, the personal trainer for eight years and you know in the beginning 
So I'm kind of just putting them together where, you know, when someone comes to you and they have a goal where it's like, okay, you have a goal wanting to get out of the pandemic and, you know, you want to be mentally healthy, you want to be physically healthy, you know, things are opening up, you want to get back into the world. How are you going to do that? Okay, well, it's not going to be, I want to go to therapy eight days a week. I want to work out 10 days a week. I want to eat clean like 100% of the time because it's, you're almost setting yourself up with really high expectations, right. which also have the opposite effect of mm -hmm. every single time you don't reach that <coughs> expectation. Mm -hmm. It's going to just continue to bring you down. And that's going to kind of wear on you where it's like, man, I had all these thoughts of what was going to happen after the pandemic, but mm -hmm. for some reason, I'm finding myself more and more comfortable just staying inside and doing exactly what I was doing before. So mm -hmm. I think realistically, the next step is building programs that are like a big brother program or like a hand in hand program where it's oh, like, that's hey, a great idea where it's adopt know, an artist. Exactly. Or adopt, like, adopt, you know, whatever. Something yeah. like yeah. It, where it's like even incorporating healthy habits that are slowly bringing people outside mm -hmm. or slowly getting people engaged with other people. And even if it is virtual, like, hey, like doing a virtual walk or like, hey, mm -hmm. doing a great restoration outside or yeah. you know, finding these different solutions that can allow, you know, speaking in terms of artists you know that really do give artists an opportunity to step outside because a lot of times art is done in quiet it's done itself. it's done in a room or in your creative space but a lot of the time there's not too much outdoor activity going on and you're you know there's so many healing properties about getting outside and, oh you know, yes so it's like you're we want to make sure that we're giving like almost like an all in one program that do allow us to help people mm -hmm. to start helping themselves mm -hmm. because we don't want people to become reliant on you and I, mm -hmm. we want, want it to be, Hey, we're here for you. And it's like just a support system, but we're working on building humans to be their best selves. Yeah. I like that. Working on building humans to be their best selves. Yep. That's a mission statement. Is that your mission statement? No, it's not. No, it's not. Ours is ours is just more of like just being inclusive. We want to. We're just wanting everyone to be mm -hmm. find themselves, find find their way, and whichever way it is, whatever comes natural, we're going to help you find it. Because I think I think being closed minded and allowing society to tell us what we should and shouldn't be doing for our mental health, you know, can be toxic at times, mm -hmm. but realistically, we're just pursuing things that work for you. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I, I think maybe something like how to not be, how to get out of being toxic of COVID toxicity, mental health toxicity or whatever. Um, so I had another question and it just went poof. <laughs> Uh, where exactly now you're located in the um San Diego? Oh, Sandy, oh, okay, that I love San Diego. Yeah, it's it's a beautiful day today. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I'll have where, to come where? out on a, on a on a personal visit. There you go. Mm -hmm. We'll def definitely show you around and show you a little bit of the city, but um. Where are you located at? I'm in Dallas area. Okay. Yeah. We actually work with an organization. Uh, the founders um, are the organization's MAPA. It's an organization for, it's based on like mama and papa bear. Um, oh, so it's MAPA? Seeing, yeah. Cool. M-A-P-A-A. -A. Um, they're an organization where one parent had to, Co or do play both roles so you kind of raising children on kind of that structure of wanting to build humans mm -hmm. the should but it's okay if it only came from one parent and oh, that's like, beautiful that, yeah so they're right now they're working on building a charter school uh over in i believe in dallas wow uh, so they're 
they're doing I'll have big to get their contact information if you don't mind. I, I could definitely get you in contact yeah. with Nelly. Okay. Nelly's Fantastic. the founder. And that's also been huge too, where it's like all of us have been so used to not having these real conversations, but it's like now it's like you're in a community where it's just so open and so yeah. just raw. Uh -huh. And sometimes it's just like, man, this is just a breath of fresh air every single <laughs> and so it's it's really fun but yeah like if anyone like ever wants to reach out support us you could just go to above the stigma .org, um, okay. and you can sign up to be a volunteer you know we're looking in the future and we're wanting to set up uh, actually this week uh this weekend uh saturday in san diego at mom's pasta and pizza we're actually gonna be doing a how are you really doing table but we're just going to set up there and just ask people and just be a safe space for. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, I mean, so... these, are, these are just wonderful ideas and they're so simple, but you're doing them. Yeah, we're, we're doing them together. And that's, uh... that's, I think the beauty of it is it's not like I try to tell people it's not, it's not me. It's just, mm -hmm. us. We, we're a community of people that care about people. Yeah. So have you looked at art for your cause at all? Have you looked at the website? Uh, I looked at it for um, the original because when Nick brought it up and so I'd love to learn more about how can we get more involved with mm -hmm. art for the cause and then, um, yeah. So what are, what are ways that you- You can, can sign up to become a nonprofit, a partner nonprofit I, I, and a partner there. nonprofit can make products you can earn money from your products will earn donut whatever you can refer people you can there's an affiliate program where you can earn 10 percent of everything you share plus whatever's in your uh profile mm -hmm. and uh you can invite artists to be in your nonprofit profile and you get if they they can choose how much they want to donate to your organization from zero to 50 percent of the yeah. percentage of their sales and so yeah there's a lot of features in it it'll pro you know i will send you a link in the email i'll send you a copy of this video when it's okay. finished, when it's after it's edited okay and you can use it however and i'll put the links to where you can go on art for your cause to get the information because it could be kind of tricky to navigate <clears throat> but yeah and i'd love for you guys to become members you can my products are all house products so yeah. everything that i is on there that is my name i am donating 100 percent of the pre proceeds to any nonprofit. now those are digital products uh, uh, like you know prints t-shirts yeah shoes whatever and uh but yeah it's it's a really good thing and all you have to do is put them on your social or put them in your newsletter and get people interested in buying them and we can do a contest we could do a mental you know something i really want to do is something around mental health support with on art for your cause we've done contests we did a social um um democ democracy contest right around mm -hmm. the election last year then we did the amplifying artists which nick was a part of and then we're doing the bipoc by poc that's mm -hmm. going to and then after that this summer i'd like to maybe work, talk to somebody from an organization about doing uh, a contest you know slash fundraiser awareness thing i really want to get the word out about what we're doing and what you're doing and you supporting you know if you become an, a, a a nonprofit on art for your cause i'll certainly support your organization any way i can so um and I believe in what you're doing. So that's my, that's my, that's my soapbox for today. No, that's, that's awesome. And, you know, I'm definitely going to relay that message to the team and we're going to be taking a look at it, seeing what areas we can do. Um, I am kind of thinking of an event we're doing on the 22nd of May mm -hmm. where there might be, it's going to be an open mic night where we're kind of opening it up to creatives of all sorts to kind of oh. share what works yeah 
kind of give everyone an opportunity to speak for uh, Nick, I think is going to be doing um, one of the sections and like a few others. Um, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be a few more slots available. Yeah. Um, to come in that just really want to either share art, sing, you want to- I love do. that. Um, yeah, count so, me in on that. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I think, uh, like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to a few members today and we're going to see, I, I want to get you involved and I, I'm not really passive about things, so. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> yeah, I kind of just like, okay, here's an idea. Let's see if we can make it happen. Mm. And that's that's what's really awesome about my team is if we they make it happen so wonderful yeah so we'll uh well if you once you send me that email with the um all that information we'll take a look at it then we'll send you the information for possible events um coming up in the future just that we already have scheduled and then okay. if there's something that you can see that you feel like, hey, like, what are you kind of working in this space? Mm -hmm. Make it happen. It's going to happen. And we just want to make sure that we are really giving back to your organization as well. So in any way that we can, we're definitely going to be there for you. Great. Well, I appreciate it. Well, same, you know, it, it goes around. What goes around comes around. Mm -hmm. So, um, is there anything else you'd like to share? No, I, I think this has been an amazing experience and I really do appreciate everything you do allowing, you know, nonprofits like myself where we are, you know, we're starter organizations that have, so are we, <laughs> yeah. so it's, yeah, we can grow together. We're going to grow together and. You know, that's my whole thought process on, you know, mental health organizations and themselves mm -hmm. too, is I think everyone's very, tends to really think of mental health is that they can do it better. Yeah. And why you need to donate to this. And it's like, well, realistically, we all have the same mission. Mm -hmm. So why don't we just bring our resources together? Why don't we just focus yeah. on people? That's going to mm -hmm. be realistically where I think we're going to be able to make a really big impact because it's not about doing it ourselves. You know, of course, you know, grants come into play where it's like, if you have the same exact organization foundation, you know, it's going to say whoever writes a better essay at the end of the day, but mm -hmm. there is no reason why we can't work together. There is no reason why teamwork shouldn't make an impact in the world. And I think working with organizations of all different types where especially, you know, we have a huge, we have a huge community of artists. So let's give them a safe space. Let's continue to find what works best for them and allow others to find their passions in the process. Yeah. I just want to say thank you for everything. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Tell me, do you work with fundraise? What, how do they help you? Well, fundraise is just, um, our location for or just where we're getting some of our fundraising. Oh, oh okay yeah. okay yeah so we're not we're not actually partnered with them but you know if well you can partner with causability when we get that done <laughs> it should be the That's first about i think it's june 5th that we're going to launch launch it fantastic yeah once so, once everything yeah. gets done like we can definitely set up a meeting where we yes. kind of are talking about the future of partnerships and yeah. we'd love to get to where you want to be and you know let's let's help each other grow exactly exactly well it's such a pleasure to meet you is there anything yeah. else you'd like to share no i think i think i think i'm just really excited for you know what what life has in store for both of us so mm -hmm. this is just the beginning of our friendship so I, I love Oh, me too. Well, thank you so much. Well, it's such a pleasure. You're such a breath of fresh air, Joey. Thank you. Thank you. You too. So.